popzing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time it's another brewery profile. We're going to take a look at a, a brewery that a lot of people might not have heard of, especially people outside of the UK and probably a lot of people in the UK. Very small brewery uh, based in North Norfolk, and uh, Cromer to be exact, in, uh, in England. Uh, it's a brewery called Poppyland Brewery. It's a brewery that I'd kind of heard a bit of a bit of talk about on the internet. A few places had it. Very small numbers. It's a one-man band. It's a guy called uh, Martin Warren. He's a geologist, well, former geologist, former uh, museum curator, and now brewer. As I said, based in in, in Cromer in, uh, in North Norfolk. I've been reading up about it on, uh, on the website. He's got a web, go on the website poppylandbeer.com uh, and also Poppyland Brewer dot blogspot dot co dot uk so he's got his own blog and it's really interesting he's kind of like he's kind of getting in the mind of the brewer as well and i really like his kind of um, outlook on things it's very kind of artisanal it's very uh, he's taking inspiration from all, all over the place also taking a lot of inspiration from um, the local surroundings i mean he's done a beer that um the one that kind of grabbed my attention it's not on this um leaflet um, which i picked up in the shop uh, when i bought these um he did a crab beer, crab saison, which I thought sounded incredible. <laughs> I love crab and I love saison and what a lovely match. Cromer is um, kind of um, well famous for fantastic um, crabs, so um, and they're in, in the kind of like really good f seafood cuisine. Um, so I've always really wanted to try a Cromer crab and I thought, yeah, that's really, really interesting. Sadly that beer's not available, but there's plenty more. There's another one what we should did have, they didn't go for, because it was a small bottle for a lot of money. And it was called I was just in the shop, and the guy in the shop was telling me about it. The shop in question is in Otley, it's called um, Curious Hop. Fantastic little place, new shop, only been open a couple of months. It's in a small range, just really beautifully selected. Really nice guy as well, passionate about his beer. And only two places in the north sell this beer. Not many places sell it at all, but two places in the north. One being Curious Hop in Otley, and then the other one being um, Beer Moth in Manchester. But the beer question was that. Days of uh, Days of Empire, and apparently what it's it's using this thing called Chevalier Malt, which is apparently pretty much all but extinct barley variety. So it's an expensive bottle of beer, but I mean, it's all a bit of fun, and they have, he's just playing around with really interesting things. So yeah, let's go on to the first beer. I'm gonna try and make this as succinct, but sometimes something a bit special takes a little bit longer. So the first beer I'm going to be looking at, which was one of the, uh, the beer that the guy in the shop currently recommended, is called Hole in the Rain. It's an American brown ale. I'm a big fan of style. It's not a style you see very often. It's a beer that I've tried to kind of brew myself. I tried to do, do a version of um, Janet's Brown, a famed homebrew recipe. It's 5% ABV. I've got a couple of glasses here because it's one of the other things that he does. He tries to keep his beers as gluten free as possible. He's really kind of like trying to dial that down so it can appeal to everybody. I mean, which is a really nice idea. Uh, and also, they're completely unfined, murky beers. And it says, does do pour with care, you know me. I'm not one for sediment. So, good hiss. A lot of small breweries don't quite get that crack, so that's always a nice sign. Excuse me if I end up um, stooping down onto the floor to. Um, get rid of this glass. I'm, as you can see I'm pouring um, into a pint glass because um, I'm going to try and keep as much sediment out of the way but I want to get as much of it without all that gunk. I mean it's sort of unfine beers are well and good but you I mean I prefer fil filtered to be honest. But that's me. Oh, big head on that though. I'll give it a second to pipe down so I'm going to pour a bit more into this glass which will give me a better chance, chance of getting the aroma. Smells good from here, anyway. Talk amongst yourselves while I do this. So what happens when you get big bottles of unfined beer. You want to, um, I want to get as much in there as possible. So, excuse me. <laughs> Beer's in the glasses. I mean, it is what, what you expect. It's a real kind of like dark brown. It looks like brown ale. It looks like a, like a traditional brown ale, from all accounts. Um, so let's have a look at this one first, so we can see more of it. Really nice, dark brown, like um, kind of chestnut and mahogany edges to it. Uh, kind of quite a, a bubbly, frothy top of kind of mid pale brown kind of beige. So let's get let's get the aroma from this glass. I'm such a professional, I'm a bloody hell. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're all slick at the start, and I'm dicking about. 
Anyway, so let's give it a swirl and a sniff. That's lovely. It's definitely a brown ale. It's got a lovely kind of wholemeal bread flavour in there. You've definitely, sorry, aroma in there. Loads of um, kind of cooked beef to a certain extent. Uh, all bran. Smoky, but kind of like um, packed tobacco. Um, fresh leather, kind of clean new leather. There's a mild cola edge. Yeah, hops are definitely in there. There's a maybe hint of brown sauce, kind of HB brown sauce. Yeah, definitely smoky element to it. The hops are standing nicely alongside that in a in the form of quite a citrusy note, um, definitely zesty lemon, quite zesty pithy orange. But it, it, I think those brown malt characteristics, kind of, I mean, literally brown malt, maybe a bit of chocolate malt, that kind of thing. Maybe a hint of kind of cooking, um, I mean, I mean, cocoa powder, that kind of thing. Anyway, that's the sniffing glass. This is the drinking glass. <laughs> so let's dive in. Cheers. That is really good. That is really good. Oh. Yeah. It's just really nice brown ale. On the more kind of like charred edge of things. More citrusy side of things, not a super sweet brown ale, not a, not a full body brown ale like um, Dogfish's India Brown, which I think is a real cracking Indian um, American brown ale. As far as flavour goes, kind of like a charred, kind of burnt malt character. Really drinkable, good carbonation. It's not fizzing, but it's keep it's nice and brisk, keeps those fl flavours moving along. Yeah, once again, kind of packed tobacco, um, brown bread, that charred espresso note, six right at the back there, which is like quite an aromatic coffee um, flavour as well, which is really nice. Um, got a sweet orange flavour then from the hops. It's got, it does have a yeah, that kind of burnt note really sits through it. It kind of pe it peaks here and there. Yeah. That's really good. Massively drinkable. Lovely burnt malt character. A bit of sweetness from a bit of Demerara, Demerara sugar. A big, a nice espresso note. That lifts it at a certain point, and also a lovely hop character. Beautifully balanced. Very nice, very nice indeed. I've got to say that is an absolute stormer. I'm very happy with my first beer from Poppyland. As you can see, if you're looking at the time code now, I usually try to keep those these are entire like three, three in one videos to a minimum. But when you've got really good beer, you got to talk about it. So stick with me, but that's the first <laughs> first bottle of beer from this little brewery profile of Poppyland Brewery. That is Hole in the Rain, American Brown Ale, lovely stuff, absolutely lovely, really good one to start off with. So that's the first one, we'll see you in the next one. Something a bit, what's a, a beer that he um, kind of likes to play, a style he likes to play around with a lot, Saison, but hopped up Saison. So we'll see you in part two, cheers. So we're up to beer two from Poppyland Brewery in Cromer, North Norfolk. We're on to their Indian Summer Saison IPA, 7.2% ABV. The interesting thing about this is um, the malt that they use, the nice sort of malt they use is from a Brand Hill farm, which is a, um, a local farm in Norfolk. I've got some details on the um, on my phone about the hops using this. Obviously, it's a hopped up saison essentially. They give you quite a lot of details. It's a really good thing about the website. It's really detailed. They update it quite often. So it's hopped with Ella, Centennial, Cascade, Columbus, and Summit. And hop, and then it's um, fermented with uh, White Labs um, saison yeast strain, which I'm sure all you homebrewers are very familiar with. Glass. 
That's going to be a pop. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Nice. Not too riotous. Not spewing everywhere. Pouring. I mean, real typical Saison looking beer. This, this pale kind of golden colour. Once again, unfiltered. So I'm going to get as much of this into the glass as possible without taking along loads of sediment. And I think I've done quite a good job there. Yes, beer in the glass. A lovely kind of um, golden orange. Head, lovely. Full, fluffy, tight, pure white froth. So let's check out the aroma. That's lovely. That's lovely, it's just full of loads of um, tropical fruits, big time kind of passion fruit, slightly kind of, um, um, slightly over ripened browning <laughs> pineapple, kind of papaya, sweet mango, but then there's a nice backbone to it which is a bit more um, lemon curd, sharp and sugary kind of lemon curd, and there's a Lemongrass note in there. Yeah, kind of like a chalky thing going on. It smells nice, it smells lovely and fresh and kind of vital. It smells good. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. Wow, that's full flavoured. Wow. The uh, similar kind of beer that I can think of it would be. Um, uh, the one that Nergner did in collaboration with an Australian brewery called Bridge Road. Uh, that beer was called, um, I think, Indian Saison. A big hopped up. Similar to beers that you'll get from Anchorage to a certain uh, degree. Yeah, it's a really big, pokey, hot flavour. Mm. No messing about. Yeah. Sharp. It's really peculiar because it's... Um, the hop flavour is really sharp and tart, but also quite fruity. And it comes in waves, it's mental. Now I'm getting a real um, kind of sharp, uh, quite chalky, floral, kind of fragrant bitterness. It's really, but mildly astringent. Mm. Straight off, juicy and fruity. Candy canes. No, there's not candy canes, they're candy cigarettes, those little white sticks. Candy sticks, I think they're called now. Big, assertive, bitterness, mango, get a bit of a sour apple now, fresh, mango, fresh, grapefruit, loads of big, tart, fleshy grapefruit. Lychee, loads of kind of um, honeydew melon, yeah, then get this tickle of um, kind of um, fragrance like you're getting a bit of kind of aerosol in the back of your throat and the bitterness really super dries out You've got a slight botanical thing going on there like a real nice quality gin you're getting that kind of um, certain waft of um, um, juniper really drying lemon sharp bitter lemon the back end, lovely, real roller coaster ride of a beer. I mean, the, the, the nose is quite tame compared with the bitterness because there's a big old bitterness to it. And it jumps around and attacks you from all sides. Really good. Wow. Full of flavour. <laughs> really, really good. Another really impressive beer from this brewery. I think I found an, a winner for 2014 coming up. And that's a bottle of Poppy Lands. Indian summer, it's one of those beers you can talk about forever. I mean, it's just got, it's got such complex flavour and it's just all over the place, jumping in and out. Oh well, well there we go, we've got a QR code, I might have a scan of that in a minute, see what happens, see what comes up. But yeah, Indian summer, 7.2% Saison IPA. Wow, something a bit different, something very special. I'll see you in the uh, third and final part where we're going to be looking at their black IPA. Cheers. Back, um, had a bit of a, a bit of spillage issue there. 
And it, yeah, it was it was very very quite quite lively, not excessively, but you I mean they were frothing up like nobody's business. So I've got a bit of a mess on the floor. And the bigger glasses is kind of draining over there. You can see it has generated quite a bit big head. I have tried to kill it off with a bit of grease, a bit of grease off my forehead, but bearing glass, a really dark brown, quite a, quite a muddy looking kind of um, murky brown. The head beige. As you can see, nice tight, frothy top. So let's check out the aroma. Remarkably similar to the India Saison without the yeast. It's um, it's kind of lemon juice, grapefruit, slightly chalky aroma, slightly um, brown sugar. It is more on the hops than the dark malts. There is a hint of coffee, but it's more on the kind of sharp citrus side of things. So let's dive in, see what it's all about. Cheers. Mmm, that really creeps up on you, that. That's really nice. The aroma doesn't promise a hell of a lot, but it really delivers in the, uh, the flavour. Mm. That's really nice. Really good black IPA actually. You're getting a lot of um, uh, quite sharp citrus malt, I mean citrus hops again, it's on that side of lemon, pithy orange, big juicy grapefruit, quite ch a little bit chalky again. Bitterness of dark chocolate. Big sharp filter coffee, kind of bitterness as well. Maybe a touch of um, kind of elderberry, black black currant coffee. There is quite fragrant, quite um, quite aromatic, I should say, opposed to fragrant. Finishing quite dry, and a lingering kind of. Coffee bitterness along with uh, quite a, a sharp citrusy um, bitterness. Mm. Nice, I think it does its job really well actually. As far as black IPA goes, it sits that, um, that middle ground perfectly between the malt and the hops. Some um, black IPAs go a bit more towards the malt, some go a bit more towards the hops and don't have that darkness in the colour and don't have the roast, but this sits. Uh, on that gap really nicely. And um, I mean from the aroma I didn't expect a hell of a lot. It's got a very telltale sign what I've picked up from these two these um set of three beers, a very house style. I don't know if that's the yeast they're using or a combination of the malts that they're using. And but there is a there is a commonality in the hops that are used in this as well. So obviously he's he's, he's brewing in very small batches. So um when he's buying any hops in, he's going to use those hops fresh, so therefore the the um, the the variety of hops might be quite limited, I guess, with this brewery. I'm speculating. But yeah, that's a really nice black IPA. And only 5% ABV, which is relatively low. It's still packing in all those flavours, all that bitterness, all that hop and malt flavour that you'd hope for. So really nice. So that's a bottle of... Poppy Land's Black Poppy, Black IPA, 5% ABV. Another really nice beer. Get online, check out this brewery, www.poppylandbeer.com. Really nice. There's a couple of online stockers where you can buy their beer from. Hopefully, they're going to scale up. Hopefully, they're going to get a bit more attention because, you know what? They've got my attention straight away because these are a really nice set of interesting, forward-thinking beers. I hope I get to try some of these more crazy sounding beers. That, as I said at the start, that crab saison sounds absolutely fantastic. So I'm definitely going to be ch checking these out as soon as they hit the shelves in um, my local stock to this brewery. So that's a look at three bottles of beer. Little brewery, brewery profile of a relatively new brewery. I think they've been going, I think they were founded in probably 2012. Going over a year, a year and a half, two years now. Very small production, maybe not the easiest one to get, but if you're in the UK, if you're definitely in Norfolk, check them out. If, if you're anywhere near any of their stockies, 
or any online, check them out, you will not be disappointed. They're doing something really interesting and I think they're coming from the right place, just reading his blog and stuff. This guy was, seems really passionate about what he's doing and doing interesting things, innovating, but most importantly, make taste, brewing really nice tasting beer, which is the most important thing. Anyway, I'm Rob from popzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.